Hi kids! Today we will learn what is kinetic energy and how potential energy is converted to kinetic energy. So let's get started. Kinetic energy. Energy possessed by an object due to its motion is called kinetic energy. We learned energy possessed by an object due to its position and also its weight is called its potential energy. The bodies in motion are capable of doing work and hence possess energy. The word kinetic comes from the word kinesis, that means motion. The more the speed and mass of the moving body, the more is its kinetic energy. Let's see some examples. Here is a stone on a hilltop. What kind of energy does it possess? It possesses potential energy due to its position and weight. Its position is much above the ground level and it also has a lot of weight. When we will roll it down the hill, all the potential energy will change into kinetic energy, that is, its motion. So the fast-moving stone has kinetic energy. Tootway has thousands of animated videos on math, English, and science to clear the core basics of these subjects. Here is another example. Water stored up in a dam possesses potential energy because of its position and its weight. And its kinetic energy of the falling water that runs the turbine. Here is another example, a fast-moving car. What kind of energy does it possess? It possesses a lot of kinetic energy due to its speed or motion. A fast-moving car, if it hits anything, it can completely bang on it as it possesses a lot of kinetic energy. Why does a bullet fired from a gun possess a lot of energy? It is due to its motion or fast speed. It is because of the great kinetic energy that it possesses. It penetrates the target that it hits. Shooting arrow. What kind of energy does it possess? It has kinetic energy. But where does this kinetic energy in the arrow come from? It comes from the potential energy of the stretched bow. And bow possesses the potential energy due to its position, which is a stretched position. So kids, energy is neither created nor destroyed. It can be just converted from one form to another. Here, the muscular energy is being converted to the potential energy of the bow which is being stretched. And then, when it's released, potential energy of the bow is being converted to kinetic energy of the arrow. Flowing water. What kind of energy does it possess? It possesses kinetic energy, which is the energy due to its motion. Where does this kinetic energy in the flowing water come from? Initially, the water is stored at height. It could be on the mountains or in dams, or it can be in the clouds too. Due to its position, it possesses potential energy, and when it is released from that position, its potential energy is converted to kinetic energy and gives motion to the water. And the kinetic energy of this water can be used to do a lot of work. 
Raft sails down the water due to kinetic energy. Dams generate electricity due to the kinetic energy of water. A strong windstorm blows off leaves from a tree. What kind of energy does it have? It possesses kinetic energy. That is energy due to its motion. A fast hitting hammer drives the nail in the board. How? Which energy does it possess? It has kinetic energy. And where does this kinetic energy in the hammer come from? It comes from the muscular energy. First of all, the muscular energy is converted into potential energy when the hammer is brought to a height. And then this potential energy is converted to kinetic energy when it's made to hit the nail. Here are some examples where potential energy changes into kinetic energy. An apple, when on a tree, possesses the potential energy due to its position as it's on height. And when it falls, this potential energy changes into the kinetic energy because which it falls with great speed. So kids, today we learned what is kinetic energy and what is the relationship between potential energy and kinetic energy. Now you may go ahead and take a quiz to learn more.